Hi everyone, I'm Vas from Devil Mini Studio and welcome to another unboxing video where this time we're gonna have a closer look to one of my favorite old board games, The Space Crusade. The game was distributed by Milton and Bradley. And the design was made by Games Workshop and the guys that they have made the Hero Quest. And now let's move on to the unboxing. First of all, as you can see, at the back of the lid we have the assembly instructions. Those four tiles are the game board. And by lifting those up you can see the box is full of miniatures and game pieces. Now I'm gonna move out of the way the box and I'm gonna bring closer to the camera each of the individual pieces so you can have a closer look. So here we have the game board and this is the first tile. The second tile. The third one. And finally the last tile. To complete the game board you will need the four walls. And you place them in a cross shape at the edges of each tile. To attach the walls on the board, you use the T-shape connectors. And when you have connected all the four walls, then at the top of the center, you place the cross-shape connector. Each wall contains two spaces for doors, and there you have it. That's the board all set up. Here we have the three boarding torpedoes, one for each Space Marine player, the three connectors, and the three airlock doors. Now let me move those out of the way, and I will show you how you can connect to the board type. So there you have it, that's the way that we connect our boarding torpedoes on the game board. Now let's move on on the doors that you get.
and they are really easy to assemble you just slide in the door in the base and that's it pretty much and at the total we have 24 doors Eight of this design, 12 from this one, and finally 4 from this design. Here we have the blip counters, and as you can see the first one are the normal ones. Then we have two empty And here we have the reinforcement blips At the back of the reinforcement blips we have three different covers One for orcs One for androids And one for chaos space marines Next we have the tokens for the Space Marines and the Alien Player. Here we have the rank tokens. Over this side we have the mission tokens, one for the primary, one for the secondary mission. At the top we have the points for the Alien Player. As also we have the rank tokens as well. Finally, we have the Honor Badges for the Space Marine players. Next, let's move on to the reference cards that we have for each player. One for the Imperial Fists, one for the Blood Angels, and finally one for the Ultramarines. And at the back of each card we have first of all the movement for each marine And the commander weapons At the front we have the area of effect for each weapon and the dice you need to roll for the damage Here we have the 6 special dice that you need to play the game. The red ones are for the heavy weapon and the white ones are for the normal bolters or the creatures. And as you can see the white ones they start from 0 up to 2 and the red ones from 0 up to 3 points. Now it is time to have a closer look to the miniatures that you get. And first of all, we have 8 orcs. Next, we have 14 Gretchens. Three Gene Stealers. Five Chaos Space Marines, one of them has the Missile Launcher and the Commander has the Heavy Bolter. Finally, the last miniatures for the Alien Player is the four Androids. And here we have the Dreadnought, which has three weapon choices, one missile launcher, one plasma gun, and one assault cannon. Now let's move on to the Space Marine miniatures. First of all, we have the Ultramarines, and as you can see, the first one is equipped with a bolter, the second one with a missile launcher, the third one with a plasma gun, the fourth one with an assault cannon, 
And finally we have the commander which has the power fist and the sword, a heavy bolter or a pistol and a power axe. Here we have the miniatures for the imperial fists and the first one is equipped it with a missile launcher, the second one with an assault cannon, the third one with a plasma gun, the fourth one is with a bolter and also we have the commander which can take the heavy bolter, the power fist and the sword or the pistol and the power axe. And finally here we have the Blood Angel miniatures and we have the first one with the plasma gun, the second with the assault cannon, the third one with the missile launcher, the fourth one with the bolter and finally we have the commander with all his weapon options. Here we have the two books that you get with the game, the first one we have the rule book. And as you can see, they are pretty much filled up with 90s artwork. And here we have the mission book, which explains how to set up the missions and how to win them. Here we have the reference card for the alien player and as you can see it contains all the stats for all the alien races that the players may encounter in a mission of Space Crusade. Let's move on to the console that each Space Marine player gets. And as you can see at the side we can keep the track of our commander's hit points and on the other hand we can keep the track of the points that we lost for each of the space marine that has died from our squad and at the top of the console we have the four different weapons that you can get in each squad and with those pinheads we can mark which weapon has a special gear, for example laser sight. And finally, those three slots on each console is to keep track of the rank of the player and the honor badges. This is the cards that you get with the game. We have the equipment cards for each of the chapter and the order cards for each of the chapter and at the top we have the deck for the alien player. So there you have it, this is what you get with the Space Crusade and as I said at the start of the video is one of my favorite board games and as always I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as this will be a great support and until next time have fun.